Are you thinking about upgrading to Windows 8, but you're not sure of some of the new features? Well, this is Paul, one of the techs here at MicroSensor, and today we're going to show you a brief overview of many of the new features of Windows 8, and how similar it is actually to Windows 7, and how easy it is to get around. Let's get started. Alright, so this is your start menu. This is what you'll see when you first uh, log on. These are all your apps that you have installed. You can scroll through using the uh, mouse wheel. You can also take your mouse and push it to the right or the left side. Uh, you can also use the keyboard. This is me using the arrow keys on the keyboard. Just scroll through. You can open up an app by tapping the enter key or left clicking. Uh, if you want to see whether apps that you have opened before, you can take your mouse and throw it to the top left hand side and just click. This will go through all the apps that you've opened before. It's kind of like your back button. If we go back to the start menu here, you'll notice a few of the apps are moving. Those are called live tiles. If you want to turn that off because it annoys you or whatever, you can right click, turn live tile off, you can turn it back on, you can make them smaller, you can also rearrange them any way you want. Just left click and drag. From there, if you want to open one up, just left click on it. And say that you want to see all your apps that you have running just to speed up your computer a little bit. You can take your mouse and throw it to the top left hand corner and drag down. So that's top left, drag down. And you have a couple apps running. You can right click, you can close it. And also left click from here and open any apps that you have. And so we'll go back to the desktop here again. You notice the start menu is kind of missing. I'll get back to the, uh, the start menu. Take your mouse and toss to the bottom left hand corner. You see the little start box appears. Just left click on that. That'll bring you back here. Say you want to have a couple apps running. Let's say I want to do some research and I also want to see if I can have some new apps. You can take the uh, mouse and toss it to the top. See how it turns into a little hand. Left click and pull down a little bit. You can throw it to one side or the other. You can let go, click back in the gray area, open back up Internet Explorer, and now I can do some research while I have the store already running. Let's say I find the app that I want. You can take the bar and drag it to the left hand side. Search through the app that I want. And you can do this with any apps that Windows 8 offers. You can switch back and forth between the two. You can also close an app this way. If you take the little black bar and push it to one side or the other, you can close the app. And you can just browse through full screen now. You'll also notice in the desktop the start menu is missing. So how do you shut down your computer? Well, if you hit Alt F4, that'll bring up your start menu. This is how you can shut down, restart, turn off, log out, just like uh, Windows 7. And that's, uh, that's pretty much all there is to Windows 8. If you have any more questions, you can uh, visit us at microcentertech.com.